welcome friends we are talking about the tongue and the words that we speak um and today i want to share from mark chapter 11 verse 23 uh this is a passage where jesus is giving his disciples a lesson so verse 23 here says for assuredly i say to you whoever says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will be done he will have whatever he says so uh we see that the lord jesus is talking about believing in one's heart and speaking with one's mouth and when our believing and our speaking coincide there is power in it and um uh, jesus is saying that whatever such a person who believes uh, and speaks it asks those things will be done for this person and just backing up a little bit when we see what happened you know before jesus said these words we will notice that he spoke to a fig tree he wanted fruit but he looked at this fig tree which had no fruit so he cursed the fig tree and this happened a day prior and the disciples were observing him and the next day you know when they were passing by the same um road when they looked at the fig tree the fig tree had dried up from its roots and the disciples were amazed and they said oh look look what has happened just yesterday jesus cursed this fig tree and in 24 hours it has dried up okay so jesus tells them he tells them look have faith in god i what i did is i spoke words of faith to this fig tree and the uh, manifestation has followed my words of faith and so he says have faith in god then he gives them this lesson he says when you believe in your heart so whoever says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart meaning he believes in his heart and he speaks it then whatever he believes and has spoken shall be done to him that even a mountain can be uprooted and be cast into the sea and that is the power of the words of faith and so friends you know i really want to challenge us um god has given us this principle in his word um as long as we are speaking words that are aligned to what he has already spoken we know that we have confidence in what god is going to do um as a follow up uh, to his own word uh, because you know in isaiah 55 and verse 11 we see that whatever the word of god has been sent forth to do it will accomplish we have that confidence and so we can speak those words with faith and things will happen and so i want to encourage us speak words of faith speak words in line with uh, god's word uh, and also know that even mountains can be uprooted mountains can be removed and be cast into the sea so let's speak to the hindrances in our lives let's speak to the delays let's speak to the obstruction let's speak to uh, whatever the enemy is bringing against what god is doing in our lives and you will see that moved as you speak words of faith let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for giving us such power in our words lord we choose to speak life and god um uh, today i stand in agreement lord uh, in uh, with people who are speaking against mountains in their lives lord we thank you that every mountain of the enemy has to bow down to your word lord so father god we declare your victory in people's lives and we thank you lord for what you have accomplished in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org